cancer. Nobody wants it, but unfortunately, several people all over the world are diagnosed with this dreaded disease. Despite such huge numbers, most individuals do not know what this disease actually is. So at the first place, let us understand the anatomy of cancer. At the simplest level, cancer cells are the cells that have lost the ability to follow the normal control that the body exerts on all cells. Normal cells have the ability of contact inhibition, which means stoppage of growth on coming in contact with other cells. But cancer cells lose this property. As a result, these cells divide continuously to give rise to a mass of cells called tumors. Tumors are of two types, benign and malignant. Benign tumor remains localized and does not invade nearby tissue or spread to other parts of the body. The malignant tumors exhibit metastasis, that is, the cells slowed from such tumors reach distant sites and wherever they reach, new tumor is formed. Malignant tumors actually represent cancer. Now let us understand how cancer is caused. Cancer causing agents called carcinogens involve physical, biological and chemical agents that cause cancer. Oncogenic or cancer-causing viruses have cancer-causing genes. The next thing that comes now is the detection and diagnosis of cancer. Detection is based on biopsy and histopathological studies. Radiography, CT scan and MRI scan are the methods of diagnosing cancer. Identifying certain genes which make an individual susceptible to cancers can help to prevent it. The treatment of cancer involves radiotherapy where tumor cells are irradiated to death, chemotherapy where drugs specific for particular tumors are used to kill cancer cells, and immunotherapy where biological response modifiers such as alpha interferons are used to activate the immune system of patient and help in destroying the cancer.